Hi, Mary Beth. Hello. Okay, let's get to know you. All right. Tell me, where'd you grow up? I grew up right here in Dallas, not very far from where I live now in the Uptown area. Mary Beth, why'd you choose to live in the city versus the suburbs? Well, I have lived in both. I have lived, I've lived in many places all around Dallas, but I was ready to move to something with less care, so I moved to a condo in an area that I can walk because there's Trader Joe's, there's my favorite breakfast, lunch, coffee place. It's within walking distance. It is just a walkable neighborhood and I love that. It's not for everybody, but it certainly has been for me. Mary Beth, what's your favorite thing to buy at Trader well, Joe's? I'm a frequent flyer at Trader Joe's. <laughs> I love their produce. It's the same price as a major grocery store, so that's perfect and I can walk home with it. But their chicken salad is so good. The one with the cranberries and the peanuts, if you like, and the cons actually. If you like that kind of thing, it is fabulous. <laughs> Mary Beth, what's your favorite thing to do on the weekend? Oh gosh, I'm usually working on the weekends between <laughs> showing houses and then church and having my class that I teach at church. There's when there's a, a maybe an art fair going on or something special going on. And then there's so much going on in our city. There's so much to do, even to hang out at Clyde Warren Park or take a walk on the Katy Trail. There's just an infinite amount of things to do. So I don't know that I have one thing that I enjoy. I just kind of enjoy exploring the city. Where can you find interesting things to do in the city? Well. Good thing you asked that. We have a blog that you can go to, and it tells you everything that's going on in the city every weekend because, again, there's something going on in our city all the time. Why did you get into real estate? You know, it's something I'd always wanted to do, and I, come, I went from an exercise and fitness industry and decided one day, today's the day, I'm going to go take classes and I'm going to do it. So over 30 years ago, I made that decision. I've never looked back and it was the best decision I've ever made. Who are your real estate influencers? Oh gosh, so many. I think about people like Chris Kelly and Gino Bafari, Tom Ferry. Um, I, I've, I've listened to so many people over a period of time as we got more into computers and more into uh, just it's just different people for different reasons. As I need to learn something, I go find the best of the best, and that's where I go to. So a lot of people have influenced my life. <laughs> Evie Halliday was a huge influence on my life. That's where I started my real estate career. What's the best advice you have for a first-time home buyer? Oh, my gosh. The first thing you need to do is talk to a good lender and find out what you can afford. Otherwise, it's a waste of your time. All right. Let's go shopping. <laughs> How long have you been in real estate? I've been in real estate now for over 33 years, and I have to laugh about interest rates right now because when I started in real estate, interest rates were 19%. <laughs> what style of home is your favorite? You know, that's a tough one. I tend to be a contemporary girl because I like the bright, white, open, and clean, but you got to love an old Tudor home or that front porch that's over on Swiss Avenue and some of our older neighborhoods. I mean, you can't help but love that. So I kind of swing both ways, but I tend to be a contemporary girl. <laughs> got back here as quick as you could. Mary Beth, have you ever met a stranger? I've never met a stranger. <laughs> I'll talk to anybody about anything, and especially when I find out that they are born and raised here like I am because we always have some commonality. We know the same people or we've run across the same people or whatever. It's just, it's always interesting. I love hearing other people's stories. <laughs> Why would someone need to pick you as their realtor? Well, besides being precious and adorable, no one knows this city any better than I do. So if you haven't spent a lifetime in Dallas, you should choose the realtor who has. <laughs>